it was a, um, a, a sort of eccentric thinker in adult learning, work-based learning or ad adult learning generally, who was running a small publishing business in Cambridge, a man called Martin Good. And he encouraged me to join his business and help them move into digital. And they were, the thing that, that inspired me was a sort of real enthusiasm for using digital to help learners who are not being served by the mainstream. So it was people who are un adults who are unemployed, young people in mm. offender institutes, um, uh, the sort of uh, people who are struggling with very basic literacy, adults struggling with basic literacy and numeracy and getting bad jobs or, or getting conned in their credit cards. And, and, and he was very sort of driven to understand how we could use tech, even in these very early sort of pre-mobile, almost pre-internet, well, it was pre-internet days, how you could use technology to help sort of affect meaningful change and that just tapped a core in me that sort of the tech part and the learning part and the learning where it's not working well at the moment and so right the way through my career i've been involved in outreach programs in africa we've been building mobile apps for hard to reach you learner groups been sort of trying to find ways often around the edge of the mainstream sort of in innovating at the edges the mainstream is often a difficult place to edge but to, to innovate, but sort of innovating around the edges where you're not quite in the mainstream and there's more demand and you can make more impact. And so I guess stumbling into that, that learning tech for good, learning for learning to so digital learning for hard to reach learners aw awakened this enthusiasm and, and it's, it's been seeing me through ever since. Great. Well, you clearly have a lot of fun in the work that you do and you think deeply about it and I appreciate you giving us a little bit of time this evening uh, to share your work with us, uh, Jeff. It's really great to talk to you. What, um, where can people go uh, to learn more about Babbel? I'm guessing it's babbel.com. Yep, so babbel.com, Babbel um, you, you find us every, everywhere there. If you want to follow me personally, I'm at Jeff Stead. So that's at, at just Twitter, G-E-O-F-F-S-T-E-A-D. Um, and I, I post Babbel-related things and work-based learning-related things, particularly mobile in the mobile space. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Jeff. Uh, keep on doing the good work and keep sharing what you're learning. Uh, it's really important for us. Yeah, great to speak to you. I hope, I hope people find it helpful. Thanks for listening to this episode of Learning is the New Working. We absolutely love hearing from our listeners. We especially love feedback on existing shows, ideas for new topics and guests, and suggestions on how we can make the show more relevant. All feedback's most welcome here. And here's three ways that you can talk back move the conversation forward and influence the future of workplace learning. First, you can rate the show on your preferred podcast platform to help pluck us from relative obscurity and help other people find us. Second, you can sign up for our newsletter or leave comments on individual shows at our brand new podcast website, which is www.learningisthenewworking.org. And three, you can share your favorite episodes with people in your professional network on social media. We'd like to thank all our participants, our season sponsors, and you, our listeners. And we'll see you next time on Learning is the New Working.